Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are planning out the week of September 4th through the 10th. I'm using this Lady Tremaine themed kit from Glam Planner. This is a part of her Disney Villains series which is some of my absolute favorite art as I have said it time and time again. This was a kit that I did have some trouble picking foil for. There was just it was just like colors. I love the colors, but they're like off tones compared to a lot of foil. But ultimately, I went with Autumn Tie-Dye from Planet Hannah as well as Burgundy. I got this Build Your Own bundle, and I do PR for Hannah, so you can use Rosie 15 to save and get my freebie. And then I got a custom washi, and I asked Hannah to put page toppers on it instead of like a second washi quote or confetti or something just so I could have a page topper for this spread. Um, also this month does start where I am having Hannah foil all my spreads or all my scripts for my spreads which is why I've spread out my videos a little bit threw in an extra one so that we could get to this point where I could back plan them and have the scripts ready and it is ultra satisfying I have to say I've wanted to invest in my own equipment to foil my own scripts for a long time but I have a lot of other things that are taking priority in my life money wise right now so it's not really an option so this is just a great alternative in the meantime I'm still like formatting my own scripts uh, choosing the fonts and all that and then I'm just paying Hannah to foil them and it works out well because Hannah has a million foil colors and uh, I'm just Hannah thank you for making my planner dreams come true right now I feel like it was just it's just like revived me in the planning world. Not that that I needed reviving because I've been, you know, obsessed with planning for years. I haven't felt like I've been in a planner funk or anything, but it just has me really excited again. Um, I chose to use Autumn Tie-Dye with this kit because there's a lot of gold tones as well as silver slash white tones. So I felt having... The Autumn Tie-Dye, which has both of those in it, was just a good medium. And then I pulled in the burgundy foil because I wanted to pull in those darker, more burgundy tones. I felt like the colors of the actual kit that were chosen, um, the purple could have been a little darker. So I pulled that in with the underlays and it worked out just so well. This is actually the second spread I've used these same underlays in the, the bloom underlays in burgundy um, I used them last year in the oak avenue spread and I don't know I don't want to say these are like my favorite underlays but I do tend to gravitate towards them especially in the fall apparently and in burgundy because I don't think I've used them in another color um but I did I do think the foil choices here were the right moves also this week I did go ahead and pull in as many themed stickers as I could because I had to. That's what makes these spreads so fun for me. Doing the super themed Disney ones, getting to pull in a lot of characters and stuff. Um, big things that happened this week. Um, I just worked, I started working more on my foil organization as well as my kit organization. This is the week that I filmed my updated kit storage. Um, Fall Out Boy started like leaking teasers. That they were going to announce something and they ended up announcing another tour. Which if you are new here or I don't know. For some reason you just don't know. I basically live and breathe for fallout boy so this was just like the highlight of the month um you'll have to stay tuned for if i got tickets or not in the next week um also i ended up getting some tickets to leanne rhymes this week we booked our dining for disney Ooh, i watched the live action little mermaid for the first time i have such mixed feelings about it. I ended up liking it more 
than I was expecting to. But I still just don't like the CGI. I'm not a big CGI person. I'm a big practical effects as much as possible person. Which obviously those things are not always possible. I get that. But I'm just super picky when it comes to CGI. But I liked the plot. I liked the actors. I really hated... What? Trite, Triton's, um, the CGI on his hair and his beard. Um, and I thought some of the animal characters were a little bit creepy, but plot wise, I really did enjoy it. Um, and I would watch it again. So it's not my favorite remake. I think my favorite live action is still Beauty and the Beast. But it's not my least favorite. So that's kind of where I stand with that. If they if the CGI wasn't didn't bug me so much, I would like it a lot more. Um and then this was the week that I got an appreciation gift from work, which was very shocking. Um unexpected. I just I don't know. Work has been a very roller coaster recently. Yes, I still love it. I still love where I work. Absolutely. It's just there's been a lot of changes. They're they're kind of like restructuring how things work and implementing new technology and new systems. And with that just comes some hiccups, some speed bumps, and it's just been a little bit of a lot. And I don't know, just getting, hearing that management felt like I deserved a reward because I just work so hard and I just kind of suck it up and like get, get things done that need doing. It just really, really meant a lot to me. Um, and again, it was really unexpected. I, it took everything in me to not cry because I don't take attention well, whether it is positive or negative. I'd rather just not have the focus on me. And it just, I don't know, it means a lot that they took the time to talk about it and to come up with a gift. So um, it didn't, they didn't end up coming, the gift didn't end up coming until the following week because they didn't know my size, which is super sweet. Hey, no barks, Lucy, um, which is super sweet, but I ended up, they knew I wanted a pair of yellow Converse, um, because they match, like, my favorite NASCAR driver's colors, and they've been on my list for a while to complete my Converse rainbow. (laughs) Um, I needed yellow, and I need blue still. But, yeah, they got me my Converse, and it was super sweet, and every time I look at them, I just, they make me smile. They're, like, kind of a special item in my closet now. I don't know. It just really made me feel good and just really reinforced my love for where I work, especially because you all know I went through quite a battle to find a job that I'm happy at, um, to find a job where I didn't cry all the time. So that was just a very special day and a highlight of this week for sure. Um, it's funny because I'm filming this voiceover on Saturday, October 7th. So it's been like a month since this all happened, but it just feels like just yesterday, honestly. Um, It's weird how time works because sometimes, like, I look back at certain spreads and they feel like a lifetime ago. Other spreads feel like it was just yesterday. Like, the Nashville week, which you'll see in a couple uh, weeks from now, feels like years ago. But it was more recent than this. I don't know. Time is bizarre, y'all. Um... Also this week, my dad got me flowers. He likes to spoil me from time to time. I honestly, I know my dad and I fight a lot, but like the way he takes care of me and thinks about me and stuff, like I'd be lucky to find a guy who brings me flowers as much as my dad. So 
There's that. Big Brother was continuing this week, which I'm still loving and obsessed with it. But let's go ahead and get into the day by day. So Monday was the day I posted my Captain Jack plan with me, which was Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. And that spread is stunning. And then my dad came over to mow the lawn and he surprised me with flowers like I mentioned. Then I did my upper body workout, which I just used a Lucifer cat from McPlans um, to mark my workouts all week. No, I alternated the cats, I think. I don't know. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, And then, like I said, I was organizing my foil this day. I got overwhelmed and kind of haven't touched it since this week, but we'll get there in time. And this week I worked just an extra lot. I had picked up some extra shifts and just wanted to make that money, honey. And so this night I worked super late, which I never, I never worked these shifts. So literally every person that was there is like, what are you doing here in like the nicest way? Then Tuesday the 5th, I marked that I was officially off of birth control. That was the day I should have started my next pack. And I did not. I am going the natural route. I got an aura ring. I am using natural cycles. I love both so, so much. I have links if you all want discounts, that kind of stuff now in my link tree, just because I have been loving it. It's been over a month and I can't say enough good things. And then I did my legs workout. Nope totally skipped a ton. I did my makeup and I went to work. My makeup sticker is from Once More With Love. That work sticker or the sticker I used is from Wonton in a Million. And then I did legs, which I used a Glam Planner Lucifer cat for that. Then I just used a custom icon I got from Planet Hannah to mark that Fall Out Boy were being teases. And then a pillow because I went to bed super early. So this is kind of starting my not sleeping well phase, which I'm happy to say it has ended, but September was not a great month for sleep. Um, Then Wednesday I woke up and I had a sty under my eye and then on my way to work while I was driving, I hit a bird. So what a great morning that was. And then I went to work and that Lady Tremaine is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then it wasn't until basically my shift was over that I realized my shorts were on backwards the whole day. So that's fun. (laughs) Um, Then I came home and did core and cardio, which I think that is from Once More With Love. Fall Out Boy announced that they were announcing something tomorrow, so I wanted to put that in, and then I just marked Big Brother was on, because for some reason, that's like the only show I track when it's on, pretty much, unless it's like a premiere. I don't know why, that's just a super weird habit I have. And then Thursday, the first thing I put in was my plan with me for Spooky Island. The Scooby-Doo spread from Leonard Designs went up. That little camera is from all of digital. And then we booked our Disney dining. Jessica and I, well, Jessica booked the dining, so I marked that. Then we got the tour announcement from Fall Out Boy, so we all know I had to put that in. Then this Thursday was the appointment for to have my HVAC unit cleaned, and there was a bunch of drama with it. They were supposed to come August 29th, and no call, no showed me. And then they tried to tell me this date that I had to pay because my contract was up on September 1st. And I was like, but you all didn't show up. And that unit also controls my heater, which I haven't used since then and conveniently now doesn't work even though they just serviced the unit so real time a heater guy is on his way over right now to look at that then I did some planning watched the live action Little Mermaid and Big Brother Friday I went to work and did full body strength then I took Lucy for a WALK and got Leanne Rhymes tickets and filmed my updated kit organization Moving into Saturday, it was Hannah of Planet Hannah's birthday, and then I just used another glam planner at Lucifer to mark legs. This day, I watched Encanto during my workout. 
Um, then I did my makeup, which is just a little once more with love, Gus Gus, and I went to work, which you're not going to see that sticker for a little bit because I was waiting for my Scribble Prints Co. order to come in because she came out with Lady Tremaine stickers and it was just too perfect. And then I just used a glass of wine to mark that it was a day and then my ex wanted to talk. So I put that in as well. Um, moving in to Sunday the 10th, I finished the book I was reading for our work book club, Atlanta, and then I did some laundry. I took Lucy for a W-A-L-K. Um, I did my makeup, and then this day my dad came to do my lawn again, because he usually does it on Mondays in the summer, but he was going to be gone the following Monday, so he did it a day early, and then I just used a car sticker, which I haven't done for a very long time, to mark NASCAR. They were in Kansas this week, and then this evening I had work again, and I just used a Once More With Love Lady Tremaine sticker to mark going to work this night. Um, this was the day they told me about my work appreciation gift. So I just used a Carly Plans You Are Enough sticker to mark that. And then we had a work meeting. So I just used some shoes. And then I finished out my Sunday night by watching Big Brother. And that kind of rounds out my week. I don't remember what this script font whatever was called but I can figure it out and link it for you all. I thought I was going to be getting into the script but I forgot I got to flip through the kit leftovers first. My bad y'all I'm getting ahead of myself. Even though this is an older format, I still have quite a bit left over. And here's what I have from my custom, as well as the build your own bundle. So I can definitely utilize some of this again. Here's those scripts that I was talking about earlier that Hannah foiled for me so nicely. I did admittedly leave out one work script. So I just pulled in the one from the uh, foil bundle. And I ended up doing it on two of them just so it was two boxes that were different, not just one. Because to me, two is acceptable to be in a different font. One is not. So that's just kind of the way that cookie crumpled as far as the fonts go. And like I said, this, this font will be linked down below. And it's just a super scripty kind of romantic font. I didn't really know what to use for this one specifically but I did take advantage of that extra space on Sunday where that double box is to fit in a label this week and I love these little tiny weekend banners that are in this format because I was able to utilize that on Saturday even though I didn't really get a weekend this week but with that wiggle that basically wraps up this plan with me. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. It feels good to be back talking to y'all. Just remember if you are struggling, you are not alone. My DMs are open for you on Instagram. It is rosy plans like it is here. You are enough. You are worthy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave any questions you have down below. I'll help out my channel and I appreciate it all so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I will talk to you later, friends. Bye.